Oh snap, we're back. What's going on world? It's your man, I'm Patrick Michael Strange, host of the New Release Wednesday show, and this is your NRW for November 4th, 2015. On today's show, my hashtag top three from three, I have tripping over reality author, Christopher Lee Swartzlander. He's back on the show. And my man here at Pain of Vision Comics, Cards and Games, the store manager, Adam Martin. But before we get to them in our In Case in Mystic segment, I have my buddy, Drew Crowder, the CEO and author of Carpe Noctum over at Hashtag Comics, talking all about Carpe Noctum. Here we go. Hey, this is Drew Crowder with Hashtag Comics. And in case you missed it, at the end of this month, you're going to have Carpe Noctum number six and Tailwinds number three on New Release Wednesday. Hi, this is Chris Schwartzlander, author of Tripping Over Reality, The Death and Origin of a Hero. And here are my three picks for the week. Uh, Lazarus number 20, written by Rooka and Lark, story of a dystopian future where everything is owned by corporations and corporate families. Uh, the war between the two uh, biggest corporate families, the Carlisles and the Hawks, is heating up. Uh, and issue 20 promises to be great, a lot of reveals coming up. My second pick is Velvet, number 12, by Brubaker and Epting. Uh, Brubaker and Epting, as you may or may not know, did the death of Captain America, which was a phenomenal story. And this book, they are going back again and doing what they do best, spies, espionage, and thrillers. Uh, it is a wonderful book. If you like film noir stuff, I suggest picking it up. And my first, my number one pick for the week would be Nailbiter. And uh, it is a fantastic book. If you're into horror, if you like stories about serial killers, this is about a town called Buckaroo, Oregon, where all of these serial killers have somehow sprung up over the years. And uh, the entire story is about them uh, investigating the phenomenon as to why this is happening. It's very, very good. If you like horror stories, if you like stories about serial killers, please pick it up. Uh, the art by Williamson is phenomenal, it's very moody, and I think you'll enjoy it. So those are my three picks for the week, all three from Image. The studio that used to be all about, you know, the Michael Bay of comic books has become a literary powerhouse that I think everyone else should start following. Uh, so enjoy, pick up some Image books, you'll be surprised. All right guys, this is Patrick, and these are my picks for November 4th, 2015. First up, I'm picking another book from 451 Media Group. They're a brand new comic publishing company. They had this great book called Self Storage that I picked the other week. And now this week, they have Ex Mortis Number 1 being written by Andy Ewington. Sorry if I messed up your name, Andy. And Raymond Bermudez on the art chores. Uh, essentially, the story is set in the World War and the Nazis unearthed the diary of Victor von Frankenstein and used that to build an undead army. So what are the Allied Army going to do? And uh, what they do is they get, uh, they find Dracula, they find Frankenstein, they find the Wolfman, Gilman, the Phantom. They get them on board to tackle the undead army of uh, the Nazis. So really cool situation with the Allies uh, against uh, the Nazis and their supernatural army to tackle each other. I can't wait to check it out. Ex Mortis number one from 451 Media Group. Um, it looks amazing, and that's how they're drawing me in. So 451 Media Group, keep on bringing out these great new titles. Can't wait to check y'all out, support a new indie company. All right, so 451 Media Group's Ex Mortis number one. My second book, um, we haven't seen this in 20 years, James Bond. There's a brand new James Bond comic book coming out from Dynamite Entertainment, and Warren Ellis, you know him, he's an amazing art, uh, writer. He is handling the writing chores on that, and on um, the art chores is my man Jason Marsters. Um, this is basically going to bring you into the upcoming Bond film that we're going to see um, coming up soon in December. So you're going to want to check this out. We haven't had a James Bond comic book, so you're going to want to get James Bond number one from Dynamite Entertainment. And for my top pick, y'all know I have used to be a really big fan of the big two, but I've kind of been pulled away from it because there's a lot of great indie product. But uh, with the Marvel Universe kind of shaking things up again with kind of a reboot in a way with what they're doing with all their titles, with Uncanny X-Men number 600, we're going to see the end of the regular Uncanny X-Men line because they're going to relaunch a new Uncanny X-Men comic book. So Uncanny X-Men 600 is a giant size book that's going to kind of wind down on everything that we've seen X-Men related right now. We're going to find out whether or not Scott Summers is 
good or if he really is the destroyer that he's been recently. We're going to find out the final fates of the Jean Grey school. All kinds of crazy stuff going on. We have Bendis on the writing chores and my man Chris Bacalo, who I really love his eerie kind of dark style on the art chores. And there's a bazillion uh, artists that came out that did some great variant covers. Um, shout out to Ed McGinnis. I really enjoyed your uh, variant cover. And you're probably seeing that right now as I'm talking. So a lot of cool stuff. Uncanny X-Men uh, number 600 is my top pick. And those are my picks, y'all, for November 4th. Hey, guys. Manager of Painted Visions, Adam. You should all know me by now. If you don't, too shame, too shame. So my picks for this upcoming week are going to be not all Marvel, but one of them is going to be Marvel. And I'm going to start off with that one. Doctor Strange number two. This was the one book that was coming out from Marvel's new universe I was most excited to read. Don't know much about Stephen Strange, don't know much about what he does. But now he's helping people with their personal possessions and problems like that. Last issue, we saw a girl with a, a case that you could call it head lice. I, I, I hope it's not, but you'll see. Just look forward to it. Then I'm going to move on to Pacific Rim, Tales from the Drift, number one. I absolutely love that movie. If you hate it, I don't care. It's just a fun American actually giving kaiju the proper respect they deserve wrong hopefully they get the, all the crossovers that they're going to do but i'm really looking forward to reading this because i love the franchise and i want to see more from it i mean who doesn't like giant robots fighting giant monsters come on so my number one pick is going to be paper girls number two this is another brian k vaughn book which i'm sure everybody here knows if he puts pen to paper gold is to be had so this last issue it's all about these girls that are running this little newspaper delivery ring, but they have something odd happen, and there's these weird dudes that seem to form with technology embedded into them, and when they finally beat one up and he runs off, they find a weird device afterwards. But it's got an Apple logo on the back of it, and they act like they don't know what that is. So I'm going to presume this takes place before Apple's the big conglomerate it is. So I'm looking forward to see where this book's going, because Brian K. Vaughn's work is always great. So again, my name's Adam, and those are my picks for this week. All right, guys, that's our show for November 4th, 2015. I hope you'll check us out on YouTube and subscribe so you don't miss any episode. That's youtube.com slash newreleasewednesday. Remember to follow us on Twitter. That's at symbol T-H-E-N-R-W, at the N-R-W. And like us on Facebook, y'all. That's uh, facebook.com slash newreleasewednesday. That's our show. Shout out to Adam Martin here at Pain and Vision Comics, Cards, and Games. If you're in the D.C. area, Virginia area, make sure if you don't have a pool box, come here. He'll give you a great deal. And check out my man Christopher Lee Schwartzlander in his amazing book, his superhero stories called Tripping Over Reality. You're going to enjoy it, people. That's our show. I'm Patrick. Cost love.